Okay, I'm about to open up the uh, mat massage bathtub. It's the Ella Bubbles. Um, uh, it's petite, called petite. And uh, anyway, before I open it, I want to just notice the box. It's got a crush here, so it has a crush there. So something crushed in this whole area. And over here, it actually crushed all the way till it poked through. And so we're gonna. I didn't look down the hole, and I didn't see anything necessarily. So it's hard to tell, but I didn't see anything. But uh, it has got a big mark through it, and you see the box itself has been crushed down. So anyway, I didn't see anything else from this vantage point. So we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is uh, run your electrical um, out here because you've got to run a test in your garage before you bring it into the house. Make sure it's watertight and everything works. So you get it all installed and find that it doesn't work. So uh, we're near our electrical panel, as you can see over here in the garage, which is near the door. So that's all perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and run our power. We're going to be running that here. I'll just run it along. And uh, we'll be able to cut it off to fit the box we actually install. But I'll run enough wire to run from this box all the way up to that box, and then it'll be ready. Okay? So I'll walk you through the steps on that. Go ahead and pull off your four screws. Let's get started. Okay, when I open the box, they have a piece of paper there showing exactly what we thought. Uh, we come up through this one here with our wire, and we're going to come up, and this is, you can see it comes in. They show you the bottom, and they show you all of them. See them all right here? They show you those, they show you the last one is empty. And your uh, hot is going to come into your low one on the left, and then your neutral is going to come into the one on the right. Okay? Anyway, so you follow your directions if it's different than this one. And uh, so this, our, our first wire will come right here, our second wire will come right here. This is our hot, this is our neutral, and we'll be all set. Okay? I'll go to the next step in a second. Okay, I didn't mention that we have our, we have a three wire system. It's black, white, and green. And our black, of course, going again to here. That's our power. Our neutral is coming to here. And then our green is this is the grounding lugs right here. Yeah, so you're again, your uh, power is the first one. Your neutral is the second one. Just follow on yours if that's not the same case. And this is your ground bar. And we'll be taking our ground up to there. Okay, so it takes care of all three wires. Okay, so that's the way it looks. Uh, I got her all zip tied. Make sure that the wire doesn't get pulled out of this unit here. Got this all tied in now, and everything looks exactly the same, all appropriate. And then I got our two wires coming in. Uh, you can see the leading nub of each one. Okay, it goes all the way through. And then I have our ground wire connected here. So we got everything all set up, and uh, should be ready to rock and roll. So we'll go to the next step. Okay, we're going to start testing it to make sure nothing leaks before we bring it inside. I got the water hooked up. Now what you want to do is, again, like I do over here with a hose. I have a hose coming over. You know, I have a little, as you can see, a Y right there. Okay, it's hooked up with an adapter from a hose adapter to a half inch pipe adapter with a nipple. And a little bit closer one for you. Okay, and uh, that'll get you to the hoses they come with. All right, those other hoses are braided and actually, I don't know if you can tell from here, but there's one's red and one's blue or hot and cold. Anyway, I got those over there right there. Now, so they're being fed and that way you're having water here. So you want to be able to test your your uh, water and your power before you get in the house. My power is right here. I'm about to hook it up here in a minute after I get my water fed. I just want to make sure there's no leaks. If there's a big bunch of plumbing leaks, I don't need to do the electrical. I can just send this thing back or start dealing with whatever the issues are if there's plumbing leaks. But so far there are none. Um, came over here to the drain. Here's the drain. And it's a double two inch drain, and uh, neither of them have any leaks at all. You see they're bone dry, and uh, so that's no issue. So far, we have no issues as far as leaking, but uh, that's just the first step. Once we decide there's no leaks just by sitting here, we'll put the electrical on, run the, uh, uh, run the air system through it, the heating system through it, and see if there's no leaks. If there's no leaks, we'll continue to the next step. I'll keep you in. Okay, so far, just everything's looking real good. The door is holding, I went around the entire perimeter. It took eight minutes to fill up with this hose. It took eight minutes to fill up um, the bottom section until we get to the seat. And then I just want to, all I want to do is get it up to the top of this last uh, hole right here. And then I can start running everything. You got to make sure when you do your testing, your water is always above your last hole. So water will be above all these for sure. And then we'll get to the last one. Once it's above that one, 
I'll turn it on and run it through its uh, paces. Okay? And I'll let you know how long it takes to fill up there too. So right now we're going to uh, just double check again. Nothing's leaking. And I already did. I just want to show you in the video. That thing's right there. Absolutely perfectly dry. I mean, it's terrible that it's rainy days out here. <laughs> so everything looks kind of wet, but there's nothing wet um, as far as the system. Uh, literally, there's nothing wet. Everything's nice and dry all the way through. There's no water anywhere. Everything's real bone dry. Real nice. Like I said, it's a rainy day, so you see moisture everywhere from my feet. But there's nothing coming off the uh, system at all. Perfectly dry. And, uh, ow! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Put myself in the head. Anyway, it all looks great up there. Looks perfect. Okay, so it's taken uh, 14 minutes to get to above the other ones here. Um, and then we'll see how long it takes to get to the top one. Okay, it's been 16 minutes to get to the uh, top one here. And uh, I think that would be actually covered if it wasn't such a big slope. You can see the big slope here, right here, uh, because we're downhill in the garage. The floor of the garage is, you can see a big giant drop. So it's not level at all. So I think if it was leveled out, this would already be covered. So anyway, 16 minutes to get to there. So that's how long it takes to fill up to the point, which may be enough. I mean, I don't know if your body got in there, it might displace that water enough to be way high. So that's enough for us to test anyway. And I'm gonna go ahead and start our test here in a second as soon as I get our electrical hooked up, okay? So that's it, 15 minutes to fill water. And uh, hopefully we can, you can hear me through this, uh, you know the noise is there. I went ahead and turn on everything. Um, and it looks real nice. There's an ozone light that comes with it, especially for this machine. I don't know if you have one or not. But again, everything is here. Everything is running. It looks gorgeous from here. And uh, nothing's leaking. Everything is dry as a bone. And so it's just perfect. Again, the problem is it's, it's raining outside, so that's why you get moisture everywhere. But uh, there's no moisture coming from here at all. To be honest, I'll, I'll shut it down one at a time. So here you have our uh, uh, airflow on and off, so it's higher and lower. I guess if you were inside, you could, you could see it. That's minimum and that's maximum. So if you're inside, you can probably notice the difference. Um, here, this turns off the one bubble. Let's shut down certain of them, you know. And this one here uh, turns off the other. Okay. So then it looks like that, uh, empty. And then your light, your ozone light, it's right here. And it turns it right on. And, uh, you know, it does something. I don't know what, but it has different colors and does different things. And uh, so it's you can see the colors changing on it. And it does, uh, well, whatever it does. And then this here, when it turns it off, that's fine. Now we go back to this again. Do we have, uh, we'll turn this one here on first. That's, you know, again, I don't really know what turns are this, but it's making something bubble like crazy. That's an air pump. <laughs> that means, that's an air pump. And then you can uh, turn that one off. That's the other one's the water pump. You turn the other one off. And then the other one. This has something to do with it. I don't know what it is. The third one is moving. The other one is not. So I guess you just adjust to whatever you like. And uh, so far it's a brilliant system. The other one works fantastic. This is great. Uh, if you want more, you turn it on. And you got everything with mother working. So the whole thing is on, everything's great. You turn on the ozone light, you can see it in there too. Uh, so everything's on. Everything's on, working great. Whenever uh, it gets down to a certain temperature, the heater turns on automatically. So there's no way for me to get in there. I'm not going to get in there. It's freaking cold in there, cold water from the hose. But uh, the heater's right here, and uh, it's, you know, I got it working. I have to. Anyway, so apparently it's working and it doesn't get hot or anything. Uh, it'll maintain a certain temperature and uh, do what it's got to do. So far, I see everything being great. I mean, I don't see any leaks whatsoever. The door is holding perfectly. Uh, everything around the entire thing, I went to go three, four times. It's 
that for you. Getting that dried. It's real nice. And uh, I'll just show you one more time how everything's working great. It isn't as much sound as it is, you know. Uh, it shows the heater light on right there. So apparently they're it's trying to heat that cold, frozen cold water, you know. And uh, there's all the ink underneath it. And then there's the uh, drains. So this the last thing we're going to test is the drains. Let's see how fast it takes, how long it takes to drain this thing. And uh, so there's two two-inch drains right there. Normally you have a one two-inch drain. So this is two two-inch drain. They got the thing designed to drain fast. So you don't sit here and wait for it. So anyway, everything's great. There's not a leak anywhere. And uh, this is what we wanted to hear. And uh, it's really hard to ever get to spots. There's no leaks. Okay, so there's no leaks anywhere, especially in the hard to get to spots. <laughs> I double checked those three times. And uh, so we know now that there's nothing leaks. And if it against the wall, there's no way to get to it. So if they ever need to be able to get to this thing, a back door will have to be put on here, an access panel put on here on the wall that this space is against. Okay, I think it's the patio wall. Have access to it and be able to fix whatever the problem is. So there's no way to get to it once this thing is installed from the other side. All looks great though. All right, ready to shut it down. Okay, we just ran through the whole test of it. everything worked perfectly. Nothing leaked. Everything was absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to go ahead and document in time how long it takes to drain the uh, two two-inch drains. I set the thing up. Hopefully it'll drain out of the garage and to the back on our feet. So hopefully this is going to work great. We'll see. On your mark, is that we got a timer here? Okay, where is that? Okay. There we go. You got to find me? 24, 24 seconds. It's only 24 seconds. That's where my timer is set up. You can see what's the matter there. A few fingers drain sitting out. Okay, that's fantastic. Instead of a pipe, it would be somewhat different, but it would be about the same. You can see we're getting pretty good on it. Going out pretty fast. Now when it gets past the door, which is right about there, the, uh, it was just, uh, right now it's a minute and 20. Uh, a minute 20, so, go ahead. Okay, so it did, it took 60 seconds to drain. Now again, that model time might slow down a little bit once we hook it to an actual drain, because uh, it does splice from two into one when it gets down below, but it's, out here it took a minute to drain. And that was gorgeous. So it all looks nice and clean and perfect. The door held perfectly. Uh, everything was great. Um, still dry as a bone there. Everything's perfect. So let's go install this thing. Okay, hope you guys can see this because I can't see the viewfinder at all. I only got nine inch to work with here. So it's a real zoo. I can't get no room to move. So um, I think I, I, everything's perfect here. From my viewpoint, it's perfect. There's double drains right there that feed down. I have them feed down to a Y. If you can see that or not, to a Y. Then an eighth bend. And uh, they come off the elbows there. Hoping I'm getting a good picture for you guys. Um, anyway, so it looks absolutely superb. Uh, couldn't have went better. Got a nice P-trap going here. And uh, right down to two inch pipe. Just flies down on hill, you know. So just absolutely perfect installation. Couldn't ask for better. And uh, it's perfect. All right, so that's how to do it, guys. That's all your drainage, okay? And of course, the perfect installation job to go on top of it, so it's all being held up there perfectly. <coughs> and it looks gorgeous. Fully insulated, nice. Okay, here's the old area from afar. Looks absolutely perfect. And uh, I'm going, it's all cleaned up too, as you can see. So that's perfect. Okay, got her all installed. Looks real nice. The uh, looks real good. Everything set up perfectly. We redid the walls so they would match, and uh, then we just brought this in 
And when okay, here it is installed. There was really nothing to show you to this point. So, uh, except, you know, we're finishing it, but it was not done outside. I already showed you all that. So anyway, here all I did is install the factory edge here. And then I had a gap in the back, so I filled it with a four inch piece of marble. And um, everything else is just done. I mean, it just looks, looks real nice. Uh, looks real spiffy there. So uh, this is your, uh, I don't know if you guys have one or not, but this is a nice little thing that you can have a drink on while you're in there. Just pulls out of the way when not in use. And uh, it looks real nice on it. Okay. Anyway, if you have any questions, just put them down below.